Hi everybody, thanks for joining me on this Thursday. Um, it is November the 12th, the day after Veterans Day. And I'm sorry I couldn't be with you last week. I um, had tried to, but uh, it was the graveside service for my dad um, exactly during that time. And I did think about you because um, my reminder came on just as I was uh, videoing the bagpiper. <laughs> so, um, but I was not able to get on live and be with you. So I'm here with you today. And I'd like to share with you a reading from the Science of Mind magazine today. It's very um, uh, germane to our times today, not only for the subject matter of the reading, but you can um, substitute in any situation in your life to go with this reading. It's called Zero Victimization. And it starts with a quote from the uh, amazing Shirley Chisholm, who was the first black woman to be elected to Congress. We must reject not only the stereotypes that others have of us, but also those that we have of ourselves. So just think for a moment about a stereotype you might have about yourself that you might be identifying yourself with some condition or some um, activity in your life, something that's happening around you uh, more than you're identifying with your Christ self, with your uh, excellent and perfect self. So uh, let me just read this to you. I often ask people what the number one thing was that helped them create a successful, fulfilling, and joy-filled life. As I asked this question to one of my mentors, he said the one thing that helped him attain this was zero victimization. He grew up in New Orleans during the 1940s, so just imagine that scenario. As a black man, he talked about how segregation lines cut, cut deep in Louisiana and how many in his family fell victim to the uneven playing field America was built on. He eventually attended a historically black college and pushed forward to earn his doctorate in chemistry at the University of California, Berkeley in the 1960s. He shares stories about the obstacles and racial inequities that greeted him as he pursued this path and how that pulled him inward, where he recognized a part of him that was not at the mercy of the outside world. Propelled by spirit, he became the first African-American department chair at the University of Utah and later left to begin a successful consulting firm. I was never a victim, he said. Were there powers that tried to prevent me from obtaining my dreams? Of course, but no one had the power to derail that part of me that could not be derailed. One of the things he told me was that we do not need another person, <clears throat> excuse me, to grant us our human equality. For all we have an inherent I'm sorry, for we all have an inherent worth simply by being a creation of the infinite. With this understanding, we can be successful, reach our goals, and be our best in spite of the inequities we face. And the affirmation that goes with this today says, I am inherently worthy simply by virtue of being filled with life. I honor my worth and live a life worthy of the divine shining within me. So whether the inequities you've experienced have been because of your race, your gender, your sexual orientation, any physical limitations, any emotional, mental, or um, uh, spiritual limitations that you thought you had, uh, remember that you are worthy and that you are not victimized by anything. We victimize ourselves more than anybody else could actually victimize us. So I offer this to you today because um, we have a lot going on in our world right now and it would be easy for us to get into self-pity, to begin to identify ourselves with something outside of ourselves rather than something inside of ourselves. So my friends, I hope you have a beautiful day today. I hope you spend the rest of this day acknowledging your worthiness as part of the great divine created by it, living within it, destined to be your best self because of it. So thank you for joining me here today. I love you and bless you and appreciate you. I miss seeing all of you that I might otherwise see in person. 
and I'll see you again next week. Thanks. Bye.